Assalamu alaikum and good morning DKM to all of my students and whoever is watching this video. Uh, as I tell you uh, daily and I tell you always uh, that uh, we get uh, a present every day and that is a beautiful day ahead when we get up, uh, we see a family and we can start our day. Uh, that includes uh, many things um, that includes the place we are living in, how comfortably we are living in over there. And uh, that is even the weather as well that affects us. Uh, there is uh, environment that affects us. So there is a couple of things which are uh, uh, really, really important uh, for us to know, um, to enjoy our life. And then there are some responsibilities uh, from us as human beings uh, towards uh, the nature that we are going to uh, do and follow. Uh, and that is really, really important. And uh, the most important thing is the place we live in, right? Uh, the very comfortable place is your home you live in, right? It is the most comfortable place. You feel very relaxed and happy. Um, and if there is a problem in your house, you get uncomfortable, right? In the same way, we will live, uh, if we uh, look at the other side, we we'll live in our country, right? So if there is something um, bad uh, or something uh, bad going to happen to our country, we are going to be uncomfortable. And on the bigger note, we, every human being, we live on this beautiful planet that is called Earth, right? The Earth is the very, very comfortable, beautiful uh, planet in the solar system, uh, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us to live on. Um, it is green, it has got waters, it has got plains, it has got uh, forests, rivers, mountains, lakes, volcanoes, it has got every single thing for all of us to make it beautiful for us and to make it comfortable for us to live in. Uh, because we cannot live on the moon, we cannot, we cannot live on the Mars that comfortably as we are living on the earth. And we cannot even live on any other planet. Some of them are very near to the uh, sun and then others are very far from the sun. So we're going to discuss them later that uh, about the planets in the solar system. But our Earth is at the very right position from the sun that we can get the sunlight as well. And we have uh, the winters as well. And we have all the season and we enjoy every single thing, right? We have water on that. So um, if you look at our um, uh, earth, it is like, uh, look, uh, it has got uh, green and blue color, basically M much of blue and comparing blue green is on the lesser uh, point, right? Uh, green is a less, a little less, the blue is uh, much more uh, because we need water more. So you know that three parts of the earth is uh, water and only one part is the land on which we are living, right? So um, we, when we are born, we celebrate our birthday on that day, right? So in the same way, um, we also celebrate Earth Day, right? We all do that. Um, and that is not just one day that we're going to take care of a beautiful Earth. It's the, on the daily basis that we have to take care of that. But um, do you know when do we celebrate uh, the Earth Day? Okay, I'm going to tell you that um, we celebrate Earth Day on the 22nd of each year, on the 22nd of April of each year, right? Uh, April is the time and it's the springtime and 22nd of April is the day when we celebrate the Earth uh, Day. And that reminds us of how much harm we as, we as human beings have caused to a beautiful earth, which has given the place to live, which has given us the oxygen, which has um, given us the comfortable uh, comfortability to live in. So um, that reminds us that how much harm we as humans have caused to the earth and inspires us to learn how we can correct and prevent more damage to it, right? So we need to stop at this point in time and we need to help our um, earth, our planet to make it more beautiful, more comfortable as it was before when there were less humans, right? So what is earth basically? 
uh, we live on earth, uh, we take so much from earth, we grow uh, vegetables and plants and um, we eat and we live. And so uh, yeah, we have a very much comfortable place to live in, and earth has given us so much. So the earth is the only planet in the solar system which is known as uh, known uh, to harbor life right on earth there is life there are humans there are animals there are birds there are different kind of species there are even bacteria and viruses they're also living things right so this is the only planet in the solar system known to harbor life right in our planets rabbit spin and molten nickel iron core gives rise to an extensive magnetic field, which along with the atmosphere shields us from nearly all of the harmful radiation coming from the sun and the other stars, right? So uh, this means that our planet's rapid spin, right? That, that spins, that is moving, our earth is moving, right? It continuously, it, it's moving. So uh, it, that movement gives it an extensive magnetic field, right? And along with the atmosphere, this magnetic field shields us from the rays coming from the sun and the other stars that they protect us, which is called uh, the ozone layer, right? So this movement of the earth is also really, really important that creates the at night as well, that creates uh, the weather uh, seasons as well. And this creates an extensive magnetic field that helps us from the very, very strong waves, uh, strong sunlight from the sun and the stars, right? The radiation, if that directly comes to our um, uh, earth, we, will be very much harm from those, right? Now, we have already done so much of harm to the uh, world, to, the, to our Earth, because our Earth is continuously forming that magnetic field. But we are breaking that, we are destroying that. So how are we are going to help the planet Earth? So there are like many ways uh, we can help the planet Earth because we have to help it because we as humans are living here on the Earth. So first of all, what we're going to do is definitely the things that you're using, we have to recycle them. We can help the planet Earth by recycling, right? Because when we recycle, um, it reduces air pollution. Right, and this is one of the most practical things we can recycle. Uh, well, sorry, one of the most practical thing we can recycle is a paper, and that helps the earth so much. Right, we waste so much of paper. We throw it in the bin. Uh, you remember that I told you before that I don't waste the paper if there are like small cuttings, I save them to use it to make different kind of paintings, different kind of sceneries using it in the art classes. So um, I can reuse it if there are like, I've cut some of the paper and there are like some leftovers, I collect them, uh, you can make, um, the clay out of those, uh, you can uh, then out of those, uh, out of that clay, you can make the molds, you can make the models, you can use that to make different kinds of things, right? So recycling is one of the very, very important things we are going to help uh, for the earth and recycling paper is one of the very, very practical things. We have to even recycle the plastic and the, the glass and there are like many uh, things uh, which uh, we should, but this is uh, one of that um, I've told you. Then very, very important thing is to reduce our waste, right? That means that um, not throwing um, uh, out 
and uh, not throwing our garbage out and uh, being very careful uh, with the stuff that we are using at home. Uh, like uh, uh, like very different kind of uh, stuffs we're doing using in the kitchen. Uh, we are um, using the milk cartons. Uh, we are using the glass bottles. Uh, we are using the tins and uh, like different different uh, kind of materials which we're using. So um, uh, reducing our waste means not throwing out and be careful with stuff, whatever we've been using, which means less air pollution and less uh, uh, CO2, right? Uh, because CO2 is a greenhouse gas that is very important to life, but too much of it is very bad if you're going to uh, burn all that waste mm, that includes uh, the um, plastic as well, that includes the tin and that includes the um, cartons and uh, the tetra bags that is going to create more of the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, a gas which is really important, but if you are going to make it excess, it, that will be in excess in the air, which we are breathing, that is going to be very, very helpful for us as well and for the environment as well, right? So we need to take care of all these things. Uh, we have to cautiously, consciously uh, doing these things um, because we are there to help our earth. We are there to help and to create a difference, right? Then the very, very important thing is to plant the trees because we are cutting more trees. We have less trees now. So do you know that trees are the lungs of the planet Earth? As we breathe, right, we need lungs to breathe. <laughs> and if there's a problem in our lungs, we won't be able to breathe and we will be like we will die eventually. Do you want the Earth to die? No. Before the Earth dies, we will die first. So we need to plant more and more and more trees because the trees are the lungs of a beautiful plant. And they breathe the CO2, right? They take in the CO2 and they breathe out the oxygen for us. Don't we need oxygen all the time, right? We need oxygen. And that's why the trees are very important for the environment. If there are more trees, they can hold up the land. Um, uh, uh, if there are more trees, we get more rain. If there are more trees, we get more shade, we get more fruits, we get uh, uh, more beautiful environment. Uh, there's a big change in the environment if we are going to plant more trees. So uh, being a child, you can make a very, very big difference because children do everything with their heart. When they decide to do something, they make sure they're going to uh, make it up um, to the last, right? So please, 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 you are going to uh, recycle, you are going to reduce the waste and you're going to uh, plant the trees. And uh, doing all that, we will make our uh, planet Earth uh, a happy place to live, see? When, if it's the Earth, when there will be Earth Day, our Earth will be very, very, very happy, right? So do you want the planet Earth to be happy? Yes, we all want the planet Earth to be happy. So we need to recycle. We need to lessen down our waste. We are not going to throw the waste. Uh, we will uh, reuse it. We, we are not going to burn it, right? And then we are going to plant more trees. So we're going to promise that, as we've done before, that every single child is going to plant at least one tree, right? And then it is a little bigger, then you're going to plant another tree. Right? So this was a little about our planet Earth, a beautiful place where we are living. And this is going to, uh, we can make it even more beautiful. So, right? So this was about Earth. We are going to discuss a little more about the Earth, how the things are uh, affecting the Earth and what should we do, okay? So this was our science class today. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye from this class. And we'll see each other in the next class, inshallah, very soon. Till then, please stay, stay safe, be happy, and be grateful for whatever you have. Uh, um, till then, we see each other. I'm going to say goodbye and Allah Hafiz.